So today we're with Lily and she's a 10 year old papillon that's kind of cute. She came in because she was just being really picky with her food, almost eating nothing now, and she's lost the weight as a consequence to it. So the first thing I do is look at their gum colour. And what you can tell with her is it's very white. There's a wee hint of pink there, but not much at all. So that's serious. So another little test you can do with the gum is check the refill time. So usually I do it above the fang tooth, Push your finger so you're blanching it and it goes white and then count till the colour comes back. So that was about a second or two generally. You can see there's not much change in colour so that just shows how pale she is. The other thing with gum colour is it could even be purple or it could even be a bit more injected red. So all those sorts of things are a little indicator to the vets. So it's a good idea for people to just generally check the gum colour of their dog. Paleness can be lots of things. It can be that they're in shock, can be that they've had rat bait, can be that they've got an immune mediated disease, or even an internal bleeding. So it pays to get them checked out. There's a wee in clinic test that we can do, which measures how anemic she is. And we've shown you this on another video as well, but just briefly, we fill a wee tube of her blood and then we spin it down and then we put it on a little measuring gadget and she should be roughly a third to half of that tube should be red cells and she's actually looking at 20 percent there so when you get down to around 20 or 15 you start thinking do we need to give her a blood transfusion so we look at other signs like respiration rate, how perky she is, all those sorts of things, and make the call there. With her, we've had to do some more blood tests, and also I found that she's actually got a wee mass, a lumpy thing in her abdomen. So we've even sent her off for an ultrasound. So the ultrasound revealed that she did in fact have a lumpy spleen, which meant that we had to go in and to remove it. So we did that yesterday, I sacrificed my day off and took her wee spleen out because she was getting quite sick with it. And you can see we've got a wee wound on her belly there with the stitches. But she's actually doing really well today, she's now eating, she even ate last night and her blood count um, after surgery yesterday was around 18, but it's already come up to around 20 today. So we're going to try and get her home. So we're going to send that lumpy spleen off to the lab, and they're going to analyse it and tell us what it is, and give us a prognosis from there and what else we can do. But hopefully we can get her home and get her eating and get some more weight on her. So that's Lily.